Ladies and gentlemen, Australia were concerned with two groups in today's debate. Poor Indonesian villagers and lazy Irish plumbers. What we would say is that their solution is simply to target the lone doctor in Indonesia, recruit him, remove him from his village, and take away any responsibility that he had to the people left behind. We say that the harms that they brought up to the village itself, to the country these people are leaving, are harms that are only perpetuated under their policy because they encourage people with those kind of skills to leave. They target those kind of people. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we say that responsibility to protect versus sovereignty in terms of the morality falls to proposition side. And secondly, we say that our policy in terms of free immigration allows for the capacity to fulfill, um, allows for the capacity to fulfill this, uh, this idea, allows for the effects in terms, of, in terms of immigration to be beneficial rather than detrimental in terms of regulation. And so let's look at this first idea in terms of responsibility to protect versus sovereignty. And here we say that this is the morality of the situation where governments set some kind of precedent to their own people that they promote certain ideals, promote certain human rights. And we say that in order to fulfill this responsibility, not only to their own citizens, but to global citizens in general, the only way to do this is to ensure that people who are living in dire situations are able to get out of these dire situations, are able to practice the morality of the situation. We say that the response we got from side opposition in terms of sovereignty simply wasn't enough. They didn't show us firstly why sovereignty was so important in terms of um, in terms of a situation where globalization is happening every day. They didn't explain to us why it's relevant in the circumstances that we're living in. And secondly, we say that the double standards that they've set for themselves in terms of only picking people who they think will be beneficial are only perpetuating this harm. We think that they're not allowing for the true moral responsibility. But secondly and more importantly, we need to look at the effects that this policy has. And what we would say is that under the status quo, we already see millions of Mexicans moving into America, millions of Zimbabweans moving into South Africa. But what we say is that the harms of these kind of this kind of immigration is only increased under side opposition policy. Where we say at least if we allow for free immigration, we allow these people in through legal means. We allow them to we, we, we allow them some kind of recourse if something goes wrong. And further than this, ladies and gentlemen, we simply know that they're there. And the reason why that is so important is because even if you have harsher regulations, we say that the people who are getting in, are they definitely the ones who are going to be using illegal means to do so? Are they definitely the ones who are going to be bringing drugs into your country? And we say we need to legitimize the, the, the entering of these people as well to minimize these kind of harms. Further than this though, we say that it allows for some kind of population planning because you know exactly who's in your country. We say that we, you allow for recourse in terms of minimum wage. We don't think we're undercutting people who are already employed. We think we're filling jobs rather than taking them away from people. We think that we're, we're allowing for people to fill the jobs who lazy English people who are living on the dole simply don't want to fill at the moment. Lastly, we say in terms of capacity that we're not giving people plane tickets, ladies and gentlemen. All we're saying is that you, if you have a plane ticket, feel free to use it. We're, you have to give us a very, very good reason not to let you in. So you have to have murdered someone rather than us, rather than you having to give us a really good reason to let you in. We need to make sure that um, we need to make sure that that the people who need help are afforded this help, and that the benefits that we reap them from this are maximised, rather than simply having the harms which detriment the economic standing of society in terms of illegal immigrants, in terms of people who we simply don't know are there, which exist under their policy. We say, ladies and gentlemen, all they're doing is creating the economic harms that they seem so worried about. Their motion cannot stand today.